Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, just wanted to show you one of my newer pickups. Uh, I guess she's not new to me anymore. Uh, probably to you guys. I haven't made a video in quite a while. So, anyways, without further ado, um, she's got a little bit smaller cage. She just got a bigger water bowl. Really good feeder, uh, but she's still very small. If you haven't already guessed or don't know what it is, it is a leopard boa, which is a dwarf species of boa. So, if you know that, you would believe me when I tell you that <laughs> she's about two years old. And I got her in comparison next to, yep, a number two pencil. It does say number two, anyways, whatever. And a dry erase marker. So that's how big she is after about a year and a half. Uh, she was eating, I want to say fuzzy to adult mice. I started with her uh, pinky rats to get her on rats. Uh, she put a little bit of size with me, but since she's such a great feeder, you know, I wanted to work my way up and not uh, make her regurge right away with some huge meals. Uh, but she is on pups to weanlings now, and uh, with summer, you know, the food being more abundant, I will be feeding her weekly, and I will get her up to smalls very soon, um, and then hopefully, hopefully mediums, and once she's a, at mediums to larges, uh, she'll be about breeding size. I don't have a leopard male for her, but I have a Sonoran het leopard. Um, but he's, he's definitely got her beaten size already. So I've got to try to slow grow him, which I have been doing on a maintenance diet, um, every two weeks, sometimes every three weeks, but an ample size meal for that, um, for that frequency. She's, she's a beautiful girl. Um, when I've got the rat, she just she just comes up and takes it immediately she's she moves around a heck of a lot though I'm trying to get her eyes if it'll show up in this light she's got like solid black eyes which I'm pretty sure all leopards do it's almost it's like the best color it's up here by this light with my arm stretched out so as long as she doesn't move too much can kind of get more of a pattern I don't know how it will be, but let's bring her over to my pool table. Oh, and I'll be doing a snake room update and show the changes. If you haven't seen the video or I haven't put it up yet, it will be up and look for it. Um, not as good as lighting, but way I can actually get to her head. Sorry guys, I'm gonna go turn on another light. I don't know if that helped or not. So, I hope she grows for me pretty quickly. Because I really want to make a litter of uh, leopards. Probably hold most of them back. The males, for sure. And, uh, you know, I've got some things coming. I, I'm not going to ruin it, but I got a nice another boa coming with uh, real potential. You know, and down the line, if I if I make any moon glows, I definitely want to take a moon glow to a leopard. And, uh... You basically keep all the offspring, offspring or to people I know so that you know I can kind of see what they do because I've seen hypo leopards I've seen albino leopards I haven't seen sun glow leopards I've seen sun glow bloods but basically of the leopard project and the blood projects uh, those really seem what, like they're taking off you know other than the uh, 
the new brand new uh, morphs coming out from normal looking boas such as your Scoria, Scoria Sterling, uh, the Moran, uh, what else is there? That's all that's coming to my head right now, but anyways, for the recessive genes, I think it would be really awesome to see a leopard to a moon glow and then, and then breed the generation one babies back to each other. Essentially, uh, what would that be, a hypo triple het? Yep. Het leopard, albino, and anery. So, this is her, just wanted to show her off, make a quick video and not go too long. She's very, very active. I don't know if it's such a good thing for being such a small snake, it's, you walk out the room she's gone, so I gotta keep a close eye on her. <laughs> and for those that don't know what a leopard boa, uh, check them out on King Snake. They don't go for cheap, so definitely don't want to lose her in any of this crap. She will be gone. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching.